Right now, that is the look of a woman awaiting her fate. Shada Hubers now, Hubers now waits for the jury's verdict. Good evening. The jury's been at it for about four hours now. And this will not be an easy task. There are five possible options that they're debating. They include reckless homicide, manslaughter in either the first and second degree, and murder. And, of course, they could find her not guilty. Nine on your sides. Evan Milward has been in court all evening long. Evan, what is the latest from there? Well, Tanya Carroll, this jury staring down their fifth hour of deliberation uninterrupted, not even a question for the judge. Their decision may come down to the final words of this trial. How do you know who to believe? She's shown us that she's a manipulator. She has shown us that she will say anything she can to get what she wants, and most importantly, what she showed us on October 12, 2012, is that she's a murderer. Shanna Huber sits silent, her fate now with a jury. The moments of her boyfriend Ryan Poston's death replayed over and over. Bang, bang, pause, bleeding. Bang, 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 and down he went to the floor. And they heard it. And that's truth, and that's real, and that's what happened. Even when what happened between Huber's and Poston doesn't seem to hold an answer. First shot to the head. We know that, we know that the trajectory hit at the hairline and went in a slight downward way as he's reaching down to her as she's below him. There is no way that from the ground that that shot occurred. It's just not physically possible. In two weeks in court, we've learned every sordid detail of their lives together and apart. But who was the violent one? Was it a case of self-defense? If he would have gotten the gun, it would have been me and not him. We know that because she repeated it over and over again in the police station. Or a case for calculated killing in cold blood. Her true character showed when she thought no one was watching. I did. Yeah, I did. You know, if she uh, is convicted, the penalty phase will happen immediately after this, we're told. But the judge has said he's going to let this go on as long as the jury wants it to tonight. Some of the deputies inside say they've seen it go to 1, 2 in the morning. And you know, we will have crews here overnight if it comes to that, tracking this case and waiting the jury's decision. We're live in Newport. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.